What is this called? The machine? The sandbox. The sandbox. Call it the sandbox. Sandbox. The Europeans like to call this digital sand. Digital sand? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's a cool term. Yeah, it is. Well, that's nice. It's 3D Thanks. plaster. The powder-based 3D printers. I haven't seen these work yet. I remember not to use that powder again. Oh. Uh, so, are you going to be able to show us? I uh, know we, uh, like I said, we're just pulling parts out and breaking them. We don't have enough time to let them cure. Oh, okay. I mean, we're this is almost closed here. Right, right, right. So, so this powder is what? Uh, this is a gypsum cement called hydroperm. It's used for metals casting. Okay. So you can do a uh, negative or positive casting molds for bronze, aluminum, silver. Okay. Um, and you can, you can use a lot of different materials too. It's not just this. You can use sugar, salts, wood, bone, glass. Really? Uh, ceramics, cements. And then how does it work? What's the mechanism? What's the... Uh, it's, a, it's a chemical sintering, we like to call it. So there's a binding agent inside the Singjet head. It's water and alcohol for the gypsum. Uh -huh. And that just deposits in the shape of the slice, each slice, oh. uh, where, you know, uh, just enough liquid to allow the pots to set. Oh. But, you know, because it's water and plastic, or you have to let it dry, cure for at least right. three hours. So, so basically, see. do you print a layer of the plaster and then go back with the binder? Yeah, you you, you deposit. So there's two chambers here. There's got, see that wall right there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another chamber down here. This raises up, this guy lowers down, we deposit another layer of powder over here. Oh. And then the inkjet head goes back and prints it out. Oh. And so on and so forth until you have your object. Oh. So, said, this is still rough. We're still very early in the project. Uh, we're still trying to get the materials down just right. Sure. So it's not like ABS, you know, like these extrusion printers where you know you just put the filament in there, heat it up to like 120 degrees, I want to say, and then it extrudes. Yeah. Because you only have two kinds of materials you can use. This, right. there's so many materials. Oh, yeah. interesting. I, this, is, this is material science whenever you get the 3D printer. Yeah. Can, can we see some of the products? Uh, yeah, ones that have, yeah. Okay. So that's the kind of, that's kind of density you can get out of it. But if you want to see what powder can really do head down to the Berkeley table at the end of this. Uh, Berkeley, they're yeah, using your product. Uh, they're using a product very similar to mine. Okay. And we're gonna They've try got some really awesome things. That there. wood. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Now what is this? Thank you. Thanks, man. What is this that got printed here? Or did uh, just a uh, configuration cube. We're I getting see. the strength down and the. Uh, I see. Yeah, so you're so just so testing. Exactly. You're just testing right now. Okay. Thank